Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dickie Bartolo. This is episode 1322, recorded Saturday, July 9th, 2011. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed to you, saving time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, visit netflix.com slash twit. And by Audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, visit Audible.com slash Gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. Hello, Dickie D! Leo, how are you doing? Are you in there? I'm here, sir. Hello! I'm ready for duty, sir. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz. Are you ready? I'm ready for the weekly Daily Gizwiz. Oh, crap. I better play. I got the wrong theme in here, I believe. Let's tune down the dial, see if we can get the, the daily weekly. weekly daily. The weekly show is on. What on earth could go wrong? Now it's six hours long. The weekly Daily Gizwiz. It just rolls off the tongue. The weekly Daily Gizwiz. With more gadgets than one. The weekly Daily And welcome to the Literally smartest. You're looking great. Yes, this is the smartest show on the Twit Network. This is a show where we believe in wordplay and intelligent humor, intelligent comedy. We would never stoop to funny costumes, silly looks, trying to get a laugh for no good reason. No, That's not no, our way. No. Straight down the line, professional. Professional show. Yeah. How do you like it? I think it's great. I think this is passport <laughs> quality right here. <laughs> I should. Well, oh, uh, Leo, do you have, have your no new key. 8 by 10s to give away at the new Twit Brick House? I, that's what I'm, I was ready for. I was shooting uh, uh, for the 8 by 10s My teeth oh, fell yeah. out. That's terrible. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll tell oh, you what. Let me let me raise the goggles. Oh boy, it was steamy ah. in there. Wow. And uh, say, oh, it's so bright out here in the real world. <laughs> How has your week been, Mr. D? My week has been very good. We had some uh, good weather here. Did a little boating on the Hudson, um, packing stuff, getting ready for San Diego Comic Con. Oh, you're going to Comic Con? That's right. I forgot. Go going to Comic Con, being a guest, doing some panels. Going to be doing Twit Live from, uh, not Twit Live, yes, Twit Live with you know, we, uh, Tom yeah, and uh, Sarah. Tom, and, Tom will be down there, Eileen. It's, we, uh, we actually made a special, you know, we now do Twit stickers for the events when we cover them live. And there'll be a special Twit Comic Con sticker. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to buy one of those if I could. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can we can make an arrangement. I think I can. Okay, cut, yeah, I'll yeah. Cut you and then right from the Comic Con directly to the Brick Twit House helicopter, right from helicopter. the roof of the uh, San Diego Comic Convention. To you do have a roof. Is there a roof on <laughs> the? No uh, roof. I forgot to add. There's no roof. Are you kidding? If you had the helicopter no. on the roof, you'd be in the basement so quick your eyes would spin. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, that's why you got such a good deal on it. Nine cents a foot or whatever it was. <laughs> so, so, I'm very uh, so, Dick, uh, I am too. We can't wait. It's, this is, I guess, let's, uh, this would be the, the second to last, the penultimate uh, Daily Gizwiz from the cottage. We'll do one more next week, and then that's it. That is correct. That is correct. That's amazing. That is so mm -hmm. exciting. 
So it'll be 1,324 that we'll be doing live. 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 And now we're going to, there's a couple of possibilities. I think you need, you will need a table, won't you, to lay out your gadgets? Probably. Yeah. It'll be small stuff because I have to pack it and take it to the con and then bring it up to you. Well, well there's one corner. What I, You know, there's one corner that I want to call a demo corner. And actually, I, we're, I wanted to get like a Macy's, uh, you know, counter. In, with a with a display area that you could put your oh, gadgets yeah. in. So it, but maybe that, by then we'll have that. Otherwise, we'll sit in the living room area where there's a nice big coffee table and we can do that. That's fine. Yeah, all of that works. Yeah. 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 If not, we could sit at the round table and have the, the the jib shot go around us, or we could even do it from my office. But we'll have to sit on the floor because it won't be uh, done yet. Yeah, we could sit in your car. I don't. Let's do it from the car. Let's that I know the, will work. Let's do it from the parking lot. <laughs> Let's see gadget number one, Dickie D. Okay, gadget number one. Now, you may find this interesting. You may find it boring, but you should find it interesting. I have never had a tablet. What? And the reason, I know. You haven't had an iPad? I have not had anything. Wow. And as a matter of fact, I have no computer in my apartment. Okay? I have... Oh, you lie. You lie. You're no, sitting no, there with a, surrounded. I, I, How are you calling me on Skype if you have no computer? Well, I'm in my office. Okay, so my office <laughs> and my apartment are are indeed back to back. They How, sit, how, it, how far they is it to your mutual? bedroom from where you are right now? Uh, Thirty steps. <laughs> okay. But this is not your apartment. No. Let no. there be well, no mistake about that. That is not my Let apartment. Let the word go forth. This is not <laughs> my apartment. Right. So when Ich I, bin I, I New Yorker. I <laughs> when I want to check my email, I either use my Droid uh, X2 or my iPod Touch with using Wi-Fi, which goes through the wall. And then the people at Asus said, we, we got some uh, Iconia tabs in, and we're, we're sending them out on uh, three-week loan periods. Would ah. you like to try one? And I thought, mm. oh, I've, I've never owned a tab. Yeah, I'll take a three-week loan. And then I thought, you know what? Instead of sitting in my chair and trying to read my email on my little touch yes. or my smartphone i'll do it on the tab so this is the new so, acer this is the acer it's very nice it's a 10.2 inch screen the same now, size as the uh, as the ipad right something i <clears throat> i believe is totally <laughs> unique is it has a full size fully functional usb port that is so that is unique you can plug in a hard drive with your movies. You can plug in a flash drive with your music. If, if you want to hook up a printer for any reason, a USB printer. If you want to put in a USB keyboard, whatever you can do USB, uh, you can do through that. Now, from the time I got it, they told me to hang on for a week because an upgrade was coming through, and mine came yesterday. So now it puts out a full 1080p through the little HDMI output port. Uh, Flash is now uh, on, on the device. Before, for some reason, you had to download Flash once you got it, which wasn't a big deal, but the, the Flash was sent along with uh, the upgrade. Uh, the NVIDIA uh, Tegra 2 dual-core processor, um, 16 gigabytes, uh, I mean, uh, one, one gigabyte of memory, but there's an SD card slot. In addition to the USB, there's an SD card slot. Um, and dual cams, front cam and back cam. How, how so good is it, the back? Uh, the, 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 you, you, know, you know, Leo, you're going to find out because the video of the week this week uh, is Gadget Warehouse Friday. And I brought the gadget home from the warehouse, and I had Dennis shoot the Friday video with the Asa uh, Iconia. So you'll, you, you can see what that video looks like. Uh, cool. Look, the video is pretty good. You know, this in, uh, in, in, in a lot of ways looks like kind of like an iPad. It's running Android, though, right? 
It's running yeah, exactly. But it looks it's like it's, it's it's got it's bested the iPad in hardware. It looks a little thicker than the iPad too. Though. It is. That that's yeah. one of the the, the things. Is, is it weighs more than a pound? I I was checking some reviews. CNET said it has almost all the features of the Zoom, uh, the Zoom, the Motorola Zoom, yeah. but it's one hundred and fifty dollars cheaper. It's four forty nine. Ooh, that's it, and that's um, for Wi Fi. Wi Fi only. Yeah, right now there's only a Wi Fi only version. And and sixteen gigs of storage. Yes, yeah, 16 gigs. Uh, let me just double check. So that's that. about 50 bucks less than the same comparably equipped iPad. You've got HDMI out. You've got uh, it look. It, yeah, 16 uh, gigabytes. A USB. Uh, you have a, you have the USB. Yeah. Uh, dual webcams. Uh, the, well, the and it looks like it now. I'm, I, I won't. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm looking at the video from uh, that you shot from the camera. It actually looks better than the iPad camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not replaceable battery, but and, and I haven't had it long enough. But uh, Asus said about eight hours of battery life on a full charge, and um, the, the micro SD card can be up to 32 gigabytes. It does not w come with an SD card, but the fact that you have a slot is good. Um, especially yeah, I mean, I mean you got 16 gigs. It's not like you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you can throw in another 32, so you can be walking around with a lot of memory. Uh, so it's best. I think it's Best Buy only right now. Shortly, it's going to have a wider rollout, but it's available now. As I said, it's 4.49. I like the uh, like the Zoom and the uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab. This is running Honeycomb 3.1. The most yes. recent version of uh, yes, exactly. Honeycomb. It was yeah. uh, I think the three point one is what was uh, when I woke up this morning. I woke up yesterday morning. It was on there. You woke up uh, yesterday morning and and three point one had just shown up. Shown up. It I I turned it in. on and it said upgrades have been downloaded. Is it okay to put them on this device? And I said, Oh, why the hell? Well, not? let's just do it. Just do awesome. Awesome. It's well, this looks like a pretty nice tablet, I have to say. Yeah, it's very, it's very, it's really nice looking. And uh, I use I my said, uh, my Android tablet a lot. I I, I really enjoy it. Now, you but, do. Yeah. Now that, but uh, but you've never used an iPad, or maybe used it. No, briefly. no. You see, so that's why I can only tell you I I like this because I love doing my emails on a, on a bigger device instead of my little phone. The video looks great on it. Um, I plugged in the USB, uh, watched the video on it. So, so you think you'll use it more? You know what? Uh, I, I think I'll probably still... I, I, I still like a physical keyboard. So I think when I travel, I'm still going to take a, a, a small laptop. And, you know, I don't run around town as much as you do. You know, I go from here to Med, I have a computer there. I go, go uh, from here to the boat, I have a computer there. So I don't do that much traveling where... Do, do you just take a tab now and not take a laptop No, anymore? I use a MacBook Air, which is pretty darn light it's only you know it's two pounds something yeah that that little guy and, and yeah. i like it because i like a keyboard so when i travel i take i take my ear not my ipad and, and what do you use your pad for mostly really honest you want to know the truth y yeah mostly you yeah, don't for, uh, mostly for sitting on the can oh okay and about how many uh rolls of paper do you get per <laughs> charge that's about it <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I, sometimes in bed. Not, you know, yeah. I, but uh, yeah. no, you know, it's not, you know, sometimes maybe I'm sitting in front of the TV. I'll use it for that. But, you know, where it's funny because we're sitting here. I got iPads. There's three iPads pointed right at me, right? Four iPads pointed at me right now. You guys got an iPad? No. So you can go home. So the, everybody, apparently these <laughs> days, you go on an airplane, they all have their iPads out and yeah. everybody's using the iPad. I mean, I like it for, you know, a lot of things, but I, I'm a computer guy. I like to have a computer. I like to have a keyboard with me. So I, I've ended up uh, not using the uh, tablet. I do have also a uh, Android tablet, the Samsung Galaxy tab, but I find I don't use them as much as I thought I might. You know, I got the New Yorker on, and so I, I'll do some, re uh, you know, in Kindle, and uh, I, I'll do some reading. Yeah. New York Times also is, is Times is app great. is a very nice yeah. app. Yeah. It in is fact, excellent. really, that's a better... You know what? Maybe eating breakfast, too, sometimes when I'm sitting there, I'll have a bowl of cereal and I'll have the New York Times in front of me. It's a lot easier, really, to read the New York Times that way. Okay. So I guess I get... Is, is that why Jen calls you Apple? She said, I call him Apple because every time I look up, I see the word Apple. Yes, yeah, true. Well, and it was really bad when all I was doing was farming all the time. Oh, oh my word. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Thank they don't. God Myra's out of that, too, now. She, she would come she, running into the 1,000 miles. She's on vacation now. She would come in at 100 miles an hour. Dick, dick, quick, quick. I said, oh, Myra, the bathroom's right there. She says, no, I need your Wi-Fi. My crops. I have to. <laughs> my my crops, crops is dying. 
I said, oh, is this from Leo? She said, oh, curse Leo. I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> well, that's interesting because um, she, so she's moved in with you now? Is that how it is? But, well, you know what? It, it was the only way to get Eva to leave because <laughs> Eva said, it's either Myra or me. <laughs> And so, Myra has a house not too far from here. So you're so generous, home. Dick. You're just so she generous. She goes home from time to time. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Well, we miss her. So, Myra, come, come, you know, hurry up. Come back. Come back to yeah. us. Yeah. She may not even hit it. I think she was going on a retreat where they don't have, bring electronics. What? Yeah. That's crazy well, I think, talk. I think, she sneaks, uh, I think she sneaks her iPad in <laughs> uh, for a little, little one quick glance at midnight or something. But anyway. So that's gadget uh, number one, and I have to say I'm, I'm impressed. And uh, you, so you you think you'll keep it, the Iconia from Acer? Yeah, you know it's so far I like it a lot. It's so a I'll, I'll see in at the end of three weeks how I feel about Good. it. Good, excellent. Now gadget number two, Leo. Kids are going to love this. I thought it was a joke when they first sent it to me because it is a. Let me just get it out of the box here. Here it is. It's a little 3D camera. Uh, the company wow. is DXG. So it's the DXG uh, 018. So it has a little, like, one and a half inch screen in the back and shoots on SD cards. Doesn't come with an SD card. Then you print the photos and. It, it prints the photos side by side, and, and you. This is what. Oh, uh, this is like another ViewMaster thing, isn't it? It really is, Leo. And so you print it on four by six paper, and then with the camera comes these three little 3D viewers. Mm -hmm. Leo, the 3D effect is great. It is really deep. I shot my train in the yard. You can see the track like under the train and I shot some ivy over the train and you can see like like the different leaves it's it's amazing and the best thing is it's selling the whole kit sells for about 50 bucks uh, I think kids will love this and it's very easy to use they're just four settings uh, there's like sunshine, automatic, you know, no focusing or anything. Runs on two AA batteries. You even get the two batteries with it. You uh, print them out on uh, four by six photo paper. I'm just looking at, oh, yeah, the screen is 1.44, the little LCD screen. And it's really great fun. And I showed a couple of people, I said, you know, give me your, let me, let me, show you a little 3D slide and tell me what you think. Everybody thought they were really wonderful. So uh, a great summer thing for kids is shooting nature things outdoors. So it really and feels 3D when you look. It really feels 3D. I, I think it's pretty. This is, I mean, uh, this is the oldest form of 3D is a stereo opticon where you have absolutely. two images a and you would hold it there and you would look through the glasses and merge it together and it would look yeah, yeah, 3D. And that's a, that's 100 years old or more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, my camera's newer than that. It's 50 the bucks, though. The, Leo, the 100-year-old thing was very difficult because you had to take two stone tablets. <laughs> and carve them exactly the carve same. Carve them. No, just you had to measure the distance between your eyes and then carve the tablets accordingly. We've come a so long way, haven't we, Dick? Yeah, the processing was five to six years. Can you get this on, on Amazon? Where do they sell it? Uh, Amazon has it. Or you can go to the company. Yeah, don't uh, go to Amazon because on the company website, uh, they charge the list price, which is uh, sixty nine ninety five or ninety nine. So Amazon.com DXG018, and it comes in a uh, a bunch of colors, but all the all the uh, inner workings are the same. So you just pick it out by color. Looks Pretty like this neat. company makes a number of three D. They, you know what they. What they're doing is kind of the low end of 3D. Right. It's not out yet. They they said they'll uh, let me see one of their, but they're doing like a 3D camcorder that's going to be like 150 bucks or something. So you gotta wonder uh, how good the quality is going to be on something that cheap. Yeah, well, you know, they don't have 
huge advertising budgets and they don't sponsor a lot of shows and so maybe that's part of the reason but anyway this this one works really well cool it's a, it's a little dual lens camera and uh our third gadget of the week and then uh, we'll take a break yeah our third gadget i'm going to uh see what i did with it and the third gadget leo i have to thank sarah lane for getting me interested in this thing sarah lane you know you guys do another show called uh ipad today and the social uh, ipad today yes. uh, it was ipad today um and i i i tune into your other shows just to see if you treat the other hosts better than me no they're and, all you know i treat them all poorly yeah okay that's what i thought that's what i thought you said oh sarah give me a break that's a piece <laughs> of crap and I said, oh, okay, he does treat it. <laughs> He's not partial to the women. This is good. No, no. So no. Sarah, so I, I tune in, and Sarah's talking about an app called DJ. And DJ, she was talking about it for the iPad, and I thought, oh, you know, just for laughs, let me just see if it's possible that they make a version for the iPod Touch. And they do. So on this tiny little screen comes a picture of two turntables, and then you hit the little icon, and it goes into your music file. Oh, she loves this thing. Oh, Leo, it's great. So you pick a song, and it puts the, the label. You got a picture of the label, and it, it turns it into a picture of a record. You put that on one table, a turntable. Then you go into the uh, uh, other side of the uh, screen, and you pick another piece of music. Now you have two spinning turntables. And then there's a little fader switch. And I used to mix records, so this, this is really fun. A fun way to mix music on a tiny iPod. It would be much better on the iPad. But then I read about something from Griffin. What? And it is this new cable, the, Griff, the Griffin DJ cable. Now, there's one problem with this app. When you fade from one recording to the other, you, all you do is you, you hear the fade across. This cable goes into the, eye, uh, to the earphone jack, and then it'll say to you, do you want to authorize the use of a different part of the app so that what you now can do, Leo, is one part of the cable can go out to whatever speaker you're playing the music through. The other part goes to your earphone so you can pre-listen to the next song that you want to mix in. So only you, as the disc jockey, are hearing it. But that's what a DJ needs to do. That's so they can cue it up and get it right. And that's exactly yeah. right. And, and, and actually, in one of the reviews of a DJ, someone said, oh, you know what? If you really want to cue up the record, go to Radio Shack, buy two of these, buy this cable, buy these things, Hook them up. To, it was just an elaborate setup. So now Griffin, it's under 20 bucks, this cable, uh, the Griffin DJ cable, and with the split output, so you get the full functions. It's kind of amazing. You turn an iPod, an iPhone, or an iPad into a fully functional mixing DJ console. So it, I think it's really fun. I'm sure it has limited appeal. But if you like mixing records or, or just playing around at a party, uh, the uh, app, by the way, it, I checked last night, the, the app for the iPad Touch is 6 bucks, but it's on sale for $0.99. Cents. So um, if you're interested in that, get it before it goes back to five what, ninety nine. dollars What's the name of that one? Uh, it's just called DJ. D-G-A-G-J-A-Y? D-J-A-Y, exactly, exactly. Okay, because... Uh I think for the iPad, for the I iPad, it's, it's much more expensive. I was going to say, I bucks. think it might be twenty dollars. Yeah, it's twenty bucks. And truthfully, yeah. if you're serious about this, it's going to be on the iPad. But a fun thing to have on your iPhone. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then how well, much is the cable? I on the iPod, iPod Touch was ninety nine cents. And the cable's a buck. Uh, the ca cable's a nineteen ninety five. Oh. But I, I didn't go to Amazon. It, it, it's sort of new, so I'm not sure. But I'm sure discounts are going to be available. So that is really a fun thing, and I thank Sarah Lane for that. Yeah, I didn't know that you were so into this stuff. Oh yeah, you know what? I was going to do it this Friday, but I couldn't find it. Uh, next Friday, I'm going to do my Gadget Warehouse 
the actual DJ mixing thing that I bought at Harvey's Radio. But I'll talk about that next oh, week. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. Well, before yeah. we get to our turn of the table turkey for this week, which I think you're going to like, believe it or not. Uh, I, I find that hard to believe. No, I'll take your word that's for what it. I said. Believe it or not. I okay. didn't say believe it. You could okay. not believe it. And you probably I, uh, maybe it will do. Okay, now I will believe. You, really, you know how to, you know how to work me hey, like a fiddle. hey hey. Believe this. Audible dot com. It's a great place to get audio books. They're back, baby. One of our favorite sponsors. Uh, even though, for every person who downloads an audio book, that's one more person who's never going to listen to another show. So it's really kind of stupid of me, Dad. But the, what can I say? It's so cool. It's audio books. Now, if you have a commute or you, you you go to the gym, I spend an hour a day at the gym, right? This is a great way to get an hour a day in reading. When I was commuting, a couple hours a day reading. In fact, I've read over 500 books in the 10 years I've been an Audible member. I'm a huge Audible fan. A couple of things I like about Audible. Uh, first of all, your library is always available to you. So all of those 500 books, I can download them again anytime. And look at this. This is a new feature. Audible got purchased by Amazon a year or so ago. And now, not only can you download your audio book to your computer and then sync it uh, to your device, and it plays on almost everything, you can also send it wirelessly to your Kindle. And you can listen to the audio book on your Kindle. Plus, of course, there are iPad, iPod, and Android phone versions of the Audible app, which means every book you've ever listened to on Audible is available for you, instant listening on your smart device. So that's great, too. I'm just a huge Audible fan. Here's, uh, here's a lot of different wonderful audio books from Audible. If you just watch the HBO Game of Thrones and you're ready for more, listen to the book. It's a fantastic 33 hours narrated by Roy Dotrice, Game of Thrones. And then you might want to get in there early and listen to the next one because HBO has already said we're going to be making yet another series. We're going to make the second one, which is The Clash of Kings. And I have not listened to this. I'm going to download this and listen to it before the show goes on. I loved A Game of Thrones on HBO. Uh, and I had read that book originally. So all five, yes, the fifth one's out soon, of the Song and Ice and Fire books from George R.R. R. Martin are available in incredible performances at audible.com. Now here's how you can get your first book free. Just go to audible.com slash gizwiz and sign up for the gold account. That's the book a month account. The first month's free. That means your first book is free. And it's yours to keep forever. Cancel at any time. You pay nothing. It is just an incredible thing. Dr. Mom is suggesting an Audible book. Uh, too Big to Fail, the story of the uh, AIG and the Lehman crash. I'm not, That sounds like a horror book. I'm not sure. I'm not into horror movies, really. <laughs> so I'll skip that one. Audible.com. Audible.com slash gizwiz give it a listen today we know you'll love it on your way to work on your way to school when you can't read a book don't be fooled get audible over 50,000 books mm, audible I love my heart and all my cow get audible audible.com slash gizwiz and now ladies and gentlemen I shall step back whoa oh don't ever step back on a ball <laughs> I shall step back briefly while Dick DiBartolo introduces our Turn the Table Turkey. Yes, it's one time during this entire show, which most people say is way too much, <laughs> when Leo Laporte gets his own choice on Turn Your Stomach Turkey. Hey. Oh, look at this is really cool. Turn the table, turkey. Turkey. T turk, turkey, turkey. Hello, Dickie D. Leo. So, Leo, the anticipation is growing. I thought that was nausea. Or perhaps this is a hangnail. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, this is actually super cool. And if I had my iPhone 4, I would show you how it works. But my son took it. He uh, he went to Europe and he didn't. Is he had unfortunately gone for Henry's it. in Europe. He's in Berlin right now. Holy! I'm cow. not sure who I feel more sorry for, Berlin or Henry. <laughs> See, okay. But he had he had gone. Yeah, give me your iPhone four. He had gone. Good. I'm just going to take a, a, a visitor's iPhone four. He had gone okay. for a swim the day before, 
and unfortunately, so had the iPhone 4. It was in his pocket. And so I couldn't, I couldn't very well. Oh, now you're a Mets fan, I see. Yeah. Oh, boy. We've got, we've got Red Sox fans in here. We've got Mets oh, fans word. in here. Oh, this could be word. bad. <laughs> All right. Now I have something for the iPhone 4. I actually saw this demoed um, at Macworld Expo, and it's out now. This is the Gimbal Pro from Ubik. Y-O-U-B-I-Q. I like, I like the box already. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that neat? Yeah. This is for people with iPhones who want to do incredible panorama shots. So what it is, is essentially it's an iPhone tripod. Watch, they're going to show you. It goes in a special case. And then you put the tripod in. And then it has a panorama head. Now, photographers know all about this. This is a special head that rotates the oh. iPhone in exactly the proper way to do a panorama. And they have special software, Ubic software, that goes with it. Okay, now everyone get together. So watch, she's going to do this now. And so she's got the little handle. Perfect. Right. This is a very cool idea. I wish I'd actually had this for Henry to take with him. Watch out, there's an alligator in the swamp. Oh no. This is a funny one. So they've actually mounted it on the front of a, a Hi Drew, what's up? A boat. I just need some help making some spaghetti. You need help making spaghetti. So she's using it as a stand. So here you see oh. I've I've put but there's the, no stabilization in this, right? No, no. Well, the software yeah. probably has some image stabilization. Oh, okay, okay. So this is a handle, and then a stand. It clips right onto the case. Look what look at she's she's doing right. Now. You could you could hold it like that. Oh, 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 okay. Isn't this clever? So I've yeah. I've taken the phone. I've put it in the case. I slide the handle in here, right? And then I also can use it when I open if I open up the legs. I can oh, use it. Oh, oh, to a tripod. To a tripod. Like that. Wow. Isn't that clever? That's Here, very clever. Way, yeah. It's a very clever idea. And they have some special software as well to make it, uh, to make you. So it would work with the touch too, then, right? Will well, that's a good question. And this is why I, I, I don't think I want to tell you about this because I think that the case, it, this is a special case and it oh, is just okay. for the iPhone, but there's no reason they couldn't make an iPod touch case. But I think I, I think they don't. So you okay. kind of this is kind of really for the for the iPhone four, but isn't that clever? It's very it's, nice. It's really great. The camera's right there, and uh, and you can you can steer it around like this. It's not very yeah. expensive either. That's one of the things I, I like about this. You know, uh, what is it? What does an iPad uh, an iPhone case cost? Usually you're forty or fifty bucks. Usually, the, yeah, yeah. The grip and the tripod bucks. for the iPhone four, sixty nine dollars. And then if you want to get this uh, the additional uh, little doohickey here that makes it professional. Right. You could take this off and slide this on. So you can leave the case on all the... You could, the yes. case is actually a case. Yes, exactly. The if case is a real oh, okay. case. Just a normal wow. looking case. And then yeah. this can be used in more in additional ways. And that's $99. The Gimbal Pro does a, does a little bit more. It includes the Gimbal grip and tripod, which you already talked about, but also an adapter. And, of course, you get the iPhone 4 case as well. I think that's a pretty good uh, deal. And uh, mm. if you want to do panoramas, you want to get the Pro because that's what the... The Pro is essentially a panorama head. And then uh, how much is the one, the, the 69 not 69 or 99? Um, a 69, okay. Yeah, so the only difference in, is is this little bit here, this little doohickey that goes on there, and then can be part of the grip. So uh, there you go. That's the gimbal from ubiq.com and the gimbal Pro, and they're both on Amazon. Uh, the list price, 69 and 99 uh, And uh, oh, I guess Amazon's selling it for the list price, so it's, it's direct from uh, Ubiq. Um, so you can read more uh, about it right here, and they've got uh, uh, all the information online. Okay. Yeah, I think it's kind of a cool idea, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So um, we, I saw this in, in action at MacWorld Expo, and I actually was quite impressed. Yeah, but it just uh, it just now came out. From and uh, yeah, it's a nice packaging. Nice. So I'll tell you what, uh, I because Henry has my iPhone, I I don't have any shots, but maybe we'll take some shots and uh, we'll we'll get them up on the uh, on the site or for tomorrow for next week. I'll show you. Uh, okay, some, excellent. Some of, some of the stuff. Excellent. Like Very cool. That's my uh, turn the table. Not such a turkey after all. No, not at all. This week, not at all. Uh, pro from Ubik. Now, ladies and gentlemen. If we can just dim the lights here in the studio. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> you fall off the ball again? I fell off the ball again. 
I want to take you, my friends, for a little walk deep into the bowels of Manhattan, where we find a castle that looms over the skyline, a castle of stone, a castle of terror, a castle where gadgets go to die. Ladies and gentlemen, I take you now to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> Hey, it's dark in there, too. Yeah, it must be a national blackout. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, sitting in the dark, I give you Dick DiBartolo. Leo, welcome to the warehouse. Yes. However, today from the warehouse, we have to go to YouTube. Now, I should just reiterate, this is a movie you shot with the Iconia. Yes, uh, uh, the Icona, I handed it to Dennis. I said, that button is where the you can start recording with the uh, built-in camcorder. And this is the, the uh, first video we shot with it. Dick, I don't want to say anything, but I think there's a ghost in the gadget warehouse. Ooh, I he, think so, too. He looks a little bit like you. Oh, hey, hey, wow. You know, when I was a kid... Okay, I can't hear a thing you're saying. Wait a minute, let me turn you way up. Dick, are you it does on not the have microphone? a good mic, obviously. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I can't. All I can you see. Can not hear. I can't hear a thing. A ring with a knife on it. Cut the string. Well, this. All right, we're gonna rewind. Yeah. Okay. Also, you know what? I uh, I uploaded this directly from. I shot the video and it said, "Would you like to send this to YouTube?" And oh, I said, cool. "Oh, okay." I have to say, the video quality is superb. Yeah. But I would suggest an external microphone next Yes, time. yes, absolutely. It sounds like maybe the microphone is down Dennis's pants. I don't know where it's gone. Here, <laughs> listen carefully. Hey, thank you for all the kids with. You know, when I was a kid, I would go to the bakery, and anything that they would put in a box, they would have this string thing. And the woman would pull string out of this thing, wrap up the box, and she had a, a ring with a knife on it. That, cut the uh, string. Well, this has nothing to do with that. This is called the string ray, not thing ray, string ray. And I'll show you why, because it's pretty. What the hell? Let's get it going here. And okay, so it's a string. Whoa. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. And, put on a little bit of and to the music. And this is sort of like, remember I had a disc on my Is house? this modern, or when this did you get this? This is sort of like my own little, wait, I've got to shut the lights off. Whoa. That's pretty nifty, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad you're making the music. <laughs> Yeah, it has all little speed controls and you, the arms are movable oh, so you can move it. It's like a jump rope. This is from a company called Can You Imagine? Barely. Oh, uh, it was mid-90s. So about 15, 16 years ago. And it was about 80 bucks. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> so now I have like a disco anywhere I go. I kind of like this. Pretty neat, isn't it? Okay, okay, wow. I can play with this all night. I think I will play with it all the time. <laughs> okay, Dickie Martello, the Gizwiz with the string ray at yeah, Disco like Dick. <laughs> play with it company. all night. That's the slogan, yeah. right? Yes, and uh, this company just made all kinds of weird <laughs> lighting, spinning things. Uh, I, so I strange. don't see them around anymore. But it was the string ray. Well, they got you know yeah. what they got put out of business because now with iTunes you get visualizations that are yes, much yeah, cooler absolutely. than that, and you yeah. probably don't really need a string with strobe lights on it. You mean I spent money with a, buying a new string? <laughs> You know, it's amazing because Radio Colin in, uh, in the other room, in the living room, says this guy, I don't know how he knows, he says the company is still around, CYI.net, and they still make crappy stuff. Really? But their slogan is, get this, the future of fun. Oh, my word, they are. Apparently, they have a broad variety of weird crap. Let's go look at the toys. Yeah. It's, this, is, this is kind of like the cheesy stuff you'd find in the, you know, in the, 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 the second Smith-Johnson catalog. Yeah, yeah. Smith-Johnson stuff. 
Christmas yeah. decorations. All right, well. They're still around, Dickie D. They're still around. Can you imagine? But they don't make the string ray. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for very good reason. <laughs> All right, that is our uh, that is our wild. I can't get this gimbal off your phone. You don't mind if I just can't keep it, do you? Maybe I'll have to give you the gimbal. Come on. Oh. Come on, I can't get it off. Let's uh, take a break. We come back. We're going to do our letters from all of you out yes. there. Yes, but yes, before we yes. do that, I do want to remind everybody that uh, Netflix is looking for a few good subscribers. If you're not yet a Netflix member, you're a Netflix user, right? Oh, yeah. I was e everybody in this room. Yeah. Chris Barnett, Netflix user. Yes, of course, Netflix user. Marion's a Netflix user. Netflix users... Yes, the baseball guys are Netflix. The Mets guy, Netflix. See, this is why are we doing this stupid ad? <laughs> Every single person who listens to this show, are you a Netflix user, sir? He's a, he's a Netflix user. It's like I'm doing an ad for something everybody already bought. It's like doing an ad for lunch. You know, the next time you've got a <laughs> hole between breakfast and dinner, you might want to consider lunch. Everybody loves lunch. Oh, well. Netflix, I'm going to do the ad because there's got to be one person out there listening that doesn't yet know about Netflix. Or maybe you heard about it and you thought, I don't need Netflix. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. First of all, you can watch it on your iPad or your iPod Touch or your iPhone or your many Android phones. This is the Netflix streaming, which I love. Of course, they got the DVD by mail, but the streaming is so cool. Tens of thousands of movies now and TV shows like The Office. My kids were just the other day, they were watching The Office. Um, you don't, uh, oh, are we going to watch it now? I guess we are. Uh, apparently, I've launched the movie. Net, here's the deal. Try this free for 30 days. Netflix.com slash twit. Netflix.com slash twit. It's kind of dark in The Office. It reminds me hey, of the Leo, I'm going to I'm gonna finish the ad with a letter about Netflix. Oh, good. Okay. okay, well, uh, I, I have other letters, but this fits right in here. Dick and Leo, I want you to know there was one loyal Gizwiz listener who did not have Netflix. Not anymore. I finally, <laughs> uh, I finally went to Netflix.com slash twit, signed up. We couldn't be happier. Yay. I took the seven ninety five streaming. I added one disc by mail for two bucks more. My kids watch Phineas and Ferb, SpongeBob, a yep. bunch of Great other cartoons. That. Yep. We don't get we have limited T V cable account, so we only get network local programming. The kids watch the Wii. Uh, the kids use the Wii. We found it very easy to use. We catch up on old cable shows. My wife loves watching like Sequest, National Geographic oh, yeah. specials. Oh yeah, the, the specials on here. The documentaries. Yeah, my only the concern: classics. we watch it so much. I'm afraid I'm going to exceed my internet usage cap. <laughs> We're net Netflix fans, thanks to the Gizwiz and the yeah. Twit Network. So that's Rob Grand, uh, Blank, Michigan. Rob One Grand. One more person we can't sell Netflix to. <laughs> but we did. But we did. So yes, it's seven ninety nine for that sale. It's seven ninety nine a month for the streaming. That's all. Eight dollars a month for unlimited. You could watch every night. I do. I actually literally will watch almost. Every, very rare is the night that I don't watch uh, at least a TV show uh, from Netflix. I just I just love it. Netflix dot com slash twit. Give it a try today. And and if you already have Netflix, you might consider lunch. Also good. <laughs> Also delicious. Lunch. Yeah. Lunch. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. We're practically through with a daily Gizwiz. <laughs> but before before it's over, a visit from Carlos Santana. <laughs> I cannot get this off the case off. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. Right? Well, our first email comes from Daniel Rodriguez Pereira, who we owe a thank you to, and you'll, you'll know why in a minute. 
Uh, I want to let you guys know that now with the weekly version of the Daily Gizwiz, I'm going to let the domains expire for Monday theme, Tuesday theme. When no, no, <laughs> no. They will expire on September 23rd. If you're interested, you can take them over. Otherwise, they'll be returned to the big pool of available domains again. So, Daniel, thank you. For, he's done this for years. I know. It's very and nice of him. Yeah, and if you want to download them, just go to mondaytheme.com or tuesdaytheme.com. The neat thing is you only have to go to one of them and all seven themes. We even had a Saturday and a Sunday theme. So here's mondaytheme.com. Yeah. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new daily. Yeah. And then he yeah. said, oh, he did, you know, he's, got, he's maintaining seven of them. I can't, yeah. I'll blame you know, him. We, should, we should just hold one of them, and then you could go there and... All of them would be there. Yeah, they'd all be anyway, there. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to send him some Mad Magazines. He even made a different, you know, I have to like this, a different color for every day. Every week. He's amazing. It's incredible. Look and at And I this. just found out when I, I said, I'll send you some Mads. He said, I live in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Oh, my goodness. I'm still sending him Mads. He was wonderful to it do this. It was very nice of him to do that. So, Daniel, Should we buy those? I mean, that's only 10 bucks per site, per, 70 bucks a year. We could probably do that. All right, Daniel, send us the info. Send, 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 uh, send uh, Dick the info. He'll send it to me, and, and I'll pass it along to our accountant. Okay, I'm going to do one more because this is kind of fascinating. Let me uh, just see who this letter is from. Oh, Steve Miller uh, from Westerville, Ohio. Uh, just finished listening to the Daily Giz Whiz where you mentioned odd lots. I live in Westerville, Ohio, which is a suburb of Columbus, where the company Big Lots is based. The odd lots you mentioned is the same store as Big Lots. They changed the name a few years ago, well, but thank the store God is... we've cleared that up. <laughs> but wait a minute. But they there's have more. interesting they have interesting crap and sometimes useful item. The first store opened in 1967. Their annual, the annual revenues are over $4 billion. What? You talk about people liking crap. Wow. There's a lot of money to be made selling crap to the general public. The company's name is Consolidated Stores Corporation. They were investors in DeLorean Motor Company. They took possession of 100 DeLoreans when DeLorean Motor Company went bankrupt. That was the most expensive odd lot they ever acquired. I wonder, do you think they've sold them all? Or are there any? You lots? know, he said, I've never seen them in the odd lot stores in Columbus anyway. You know what the problem uh, so, was with the DeLorean is that the stainless steel didn't uh, age well. And yes. they looked kind of grimy and, and gray. Yes. I hate but it they when were things look crappy, don't you? Yeah, no, but you know what? Uh, oh, is, is that what camera is that? Is that the C uh, nine ten? Because you look <laughs> amazing. It's the Logitech, isn't it? The, the yeah. detail, the yeah. resolution. Those crest strips are nice, <laughs> but you know, Leo, I think the ones you're using might be outdated. I would get a fresh box. No, actually, if you think about it, you should have seen these teeth before the crest strips. Really? Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Who is your dentist, by the way? <laughs> I'd like to stay about three thousand miles away. <laughs> Doctor, hole in the head. <laughs> well, that's that's great. That's a nice story all about the odd lots. I like that. Yes, yes, exactly. But Dick, and you got chastised by Kevin Sell. Oh, no. Mr. Friend. Weatherman? Mr. Weatherbrain? Mr. Weatherman what did he said, say? I must make a correction. Leo said Noah uh, is not the... National Oceanic uh, and Atmospheric National, what did you say it was? National, go ahead. Oceanic. Yes. And Atmospheric. Yes. Administration. Oh, okay. What do you think you I said? You, you, at the time, you must have said association. Oh, I know. Because think he so. said, in actuality, it's the administration. Oh, I know that. Yeah, so, okay. So, Kevin. This is it? This is the nit yeah. he chose to pick? Yeah, I was just going to say. I was just going to say. So, With Kevin, all the nits on this show, he picked that one? <laughs> Come on. It was the easiest. Yeah. You know, he make, had 90, 90 minutes to choose. We make more mistakes in half an hour than most shows make all week. And that's our claim to fame. It and is. We're proud, that's what's sad, is that we're proud of it. <laughs> we're the uh, un-Wikipedia. 
Yeah. Well, they, I mean, that's why you always show your face in public. You're not ashamed. You just I go am out not the way ashamed. You are. I do not. You know, some people wear disguises. Perhaps no. they hide. Maybe no. uh, they never go outside at all. But I walk no, this, down the street holding my head high every single yeah. day. Yeah, and wearing your ball in the back. It's really a picture to see. Yeah, you never know when you might need to sit down. No, you're right. I think Velcroing that to your pants was inspired. I, you know, I want to patent that. Yeah, because you go to the post office. There's a line. You sit down. You sit down. Your ball is under you. It's, it's a little great. problematic in tight quarters when you turn around. Sometimes you can whack people with your balls. But that's, that's why you moved to Petaluma. You there's, should never spin too there's fast. Plenty of, there's plenty of room to swing a ball anywhere without hitting anybody. No, it's great. Absolutely. That's why I live in the country. <laughs> Dick, uh, do you have any visitors you'd like to thank for visiting you? No, I have no one today. You're all I alone? No well, God, I wish I were, but everybody's in here. <laughs> We've got Chris Barnett and his daughter, Marion, from Crutzville, Alabama, who came by. Right. We've got Jim from Brooklyn. He's got an act. He's, he's your friend, I believe. He's yeah, Jim is great. Thanks to Eva for uh, sneaking him in there. Uh, he's, he's a good man. Jim, just he's a little hint. Uh, uh, Eva used to live with the Gizwiz. She's moved out. I think there's an extra room now. So just no, no. We in. have to get rid of Myra first. Oh, that that Myra. I'll tell you. Well, while she's on jury duty, this would be a good time. Uh, Josephine oh, you're is the not one on here. Jury. She didn't. She her, Josephine ran out. Scream. Oh yeah. Which is yeah, I, I, yeah, that, she does that all the time. We also have David from Dallas. He's an orchestra teacher. You know, it's funny because, David, you're sitting next to Marion, who has to choose her instrument for the band next year. So that's great. Where do you teach orchestra? Allen High School. Allen High School. Hello, everybody in Allen High School. I know you're so proud of David. Yeah, and if you want to <laughs> learn how to be David, an orchestra, you, look him up. Look, yeah. He teaches people how to be orchestras. And, David, we'll get you a VHS tape of this of this broadcast so you can show the kids. I know they'll be happy about that. And a Polaroid shot for the kids. <laughs> And finally, Ken and Ken visiting from Boston. Ken is an integration engineer. What does that mean, well, Ken? He integrates. He integrates the, uh, circuits? No, uh, medical equipment. Medical equipment. He's an expert on integrating medical equipment into your life. You think you could get me some teeth? <laughs> and then his son, Ken, who is here, he's interning at Intel. So he's probably pretty smart. Whoa. So okay. A nice bunch. Of, can you believe? This is, you know what I think? They're yes, here because the cottage is going away, and they want to see this dump before we close it. Probably. I think uh, otherwise, it. why would anybody venture out there? I don't know. It's amazing. <clears throat> we actually, I hope you're ready for this, Dick. Yeah. Because you're going to be here in two weeks. We're opening up the new studio. Two weeks from tomorrow. I understand you have 50 people booked already. We, we got chairs from Party Rents. And we've got room for 50, and I asked people to come and contact my sister Eva at twit.tv if they want to be filled up like that. So I'm wow. sorry, don't try to come on the 24th. It's full. But what we're going to have to do, if people do, is uh, we're going to have people here in the cottage. We only get about six or seven people in the studio right now. So they'll be here on the 24th. We'll finish the Giz Whiz. I shall stand up, ball attached to the Velcro, by the way, <laughs> and walk out the door, and uh, uh, my, my minions will follow me. And we yeah. shall, How about we, any fans or just the minions? No, only minions allowed. Only minions, And then okay. we, shall, we shall parade the two blocks... Ball in hand, uh, down no, ball on butt on ball on butt down oh, to the new right. facility where all of those fifty people shall be lined up, and then Lisa's promised me some giant scissors and a ribbon, and we will do we will cut the ribbon on the new studio. So it's going to be one. I said let's get the mayor to do that. She said he's a low life. He's in jail. Forget it. <laughs> we'll do it ourselves. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, but anyway, okay. I thought it'd be fun. And and in the cottage, you and I will be either at the demo area or on a couch or a coffee table or the basement. No idea. We could do it from the basement. We got no idea. Yeah, uh, listen, as long as I'm in that, as long as I can say, I went there and I was the second show out of there. <laughs> you came, you saw, you conquered. And I got the <laughs> hell out of there. Hell out. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. That'll be fun. We got 50 yeah. people. I believe there are going to be small beverages, some hors d'oeuvres, cheap champagne, that kind of thing. Wow. It's going to be good. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, that's we, what the other deduction was from my check. Yeah. I was wondering. Oh, yeah. We have to. It said hors d'oeuvres and champagne. I expense said, Expense to frail. 
I think is what they what they call it. <laughs> so, but and Dick, if you see any giant scissors, bring them with you. I'll bring them. Yeah. Okay. There's, uh, I'm sure no, the TSA. No will. problem yeah. bringing those on. Well, they're too big. No, to on be the dangerous. airplane. No, I said it's not a knife, sir. It's a this giant. is not a knife. It's not a machete. It's just a 12-inch scissors. <laughs> Hello. 12? No, you want about eight feet. And, oh, and, eight feet. Yeah, eight feet. And uh, and they don't need an X-ray machine because they'll say, "Excuse me, sir, I don't I don't need to." frisk you you've got a 10 foot pair of scissors in your yeah, pocket exact, exactly and he said well i as long as you don't notice the ball velcro to my butt i think we're all right <laughs> dick Good. time has come to say goodbye to all our family and i would say that they're saying thank god <laughs> yeah no it's it's really been unique unique i want to thank the folks at hipmunk who provided me with today's wardrobe Mr. LaPorte's oh. wardrobe provided you by Hipmunk. Oh, Hipmunk. Yes. Oh, that's cute. The next time you travel, go to hipmunk.com. They didn't buy an ad, but these are pretty cool glasses. They're nice. I like them. I'll do anything for a pair of glasses. Dick, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. No, you won't. <laughs> After the, they didn't send you the memo, I guess. All right. <laughs>